up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a delay. Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. We're talking world's finest today, Batman, Superman, and if you like those guys, hit that subscribe button because we talk about them all the time. We're hoping to hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And to all of our new subscribers, thank you so much for stopping by. And leave a comment in the comments down below on what you think of the Batman news and the upcoming Superman trailer. I read and reply to all of them. Thank you so much for joining me right now. Let's get right into it. The Batman 2, Batman Part 2, the Reeves vs. Batman 2 is scheduled to release in October of 20. 26. Two years from now. Two years away. We went through the epic that was the Penguin, and now we've got to wait two years. The script was said to have been uh, submitted in September, but apparently that was not the case. It is not finished yet. James Gunn said, nope, they're still working on it. And as this information is going on, we're learning that Christopher Nolan is casting his new sci-fi movie, which is going to have Matt Damon, Tom Holland, and Hathaway, and Batman's Robert Pattinson, which leaves fans asking the question, what is the status of the Batman Part 2? Has it been delayed? Will Robert Pattinson being involved in Christopher Nolan's new movie take away or push back shooting for the Batman Part 2? The Hollywood Reporter has this to say, the actor is due to return to Batman for Matt Reeves' sequel, and there is hope that it could shoot sometime next year. Those hopes remain in place, but nothing is close to being planned. Okay, so there's two things here. One, that there's hopes for that to happen. That's still the plan. But there is nothing close to being planned, which means the script must still be far enough away that they can't figure out when they want to shoot it, when they don't know when they want to start production on it. Now, if you want to assume, which you should never do, that Mr. Freeze is the villain, they might want to wait until winter, closer to the end of the year, to begin principal photography on the Batman Part 2. Now, of course, you can always do blue screen, green screen, blue screen, uh, volume, all that stuff. But Matt Reeves, with the nitty-gritty, grounded approach of the Batman, he might want to take things to the streets, so to say, and actually have a realistic shoot where the weather would match up somewhat with what they're doing so you don't want to shoot you know it's not a hallmark movie where you shoot <laughs> in july for december he might want to shoot december for december or november whatever it might be so maybe that's the case they haven't quite figured that out yet they haven't planned that maybe there's no point in doing it as of yet they've you know War warner brothers over with the batman has probably spoken to universal about this nolan movie they probably know exactly what the schedules are like so they're making that work because also if you are concerned you should look at this tweet from deadlines justin crawl the senior film reporter over at deadline is saying that in response to this tweet here so is there any concern about the batman being pushed he says no script still not in and production was already being for later in the year also i don't believe role is as big as damon holland and hathaway so from a schedule standpoint wouldn't get in the way so again it's looking like they're going to go well it is we know for a fact it's going to be winter as the penguin leads into the winter so we know that for a fact so they might want to shoot it later towards the winter and that could be why instead of you know october 2025 we're going to get an october 26 release date because they're going to shoot later in the year, so it wouldn't be ready in time, right? They're not going to shoot early 2025. They're not ready for that, so they're going to shoot late 2025 to have an end of 2026 release date. So that makes sense. I don't think there's anything to worry about. I think it is uh, all par for the course right now. I think they know what they're doing. I think they're going to take their time with the script, knowing that they won't get into production until the end of the year. I bet you the actors are probably all being held like, hey, don't worry about, don't, you know, their agents and everyone's being told, End of the year is when we're going to do Batman. You're locked in for that. Also, if his role is not going to be as big as the, the, the leads of this film, there's no issue there at all. So I, I don't think there's any concern right now for Batman fans to worry about. Is this movie going to get delayed or not? I think October 2026 is set in stone. I don't think there's anything that will change it, uh, barring some kind of catastrophe on set or whatever. I don't see anything pushing it any further than that. But you never know. Crazier things have happened. But two years, you know, you have two years to make a movie. You shoot it in, in, in you know, November, December, whenever, maybe October, whatever you shoot it. I think that gives you plenty of time for the, the reshoots and, and special effects and, and obviously sound and music and all that. I think they have a lot of time to do it, so I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Side Akbar, the holidays are coming up. It's Black Friday time. And if you're looking for a gift for a loved one, a friend, or a family member, check out Limelight Co. Candles. They are organic, no paraffins coconut soy you can get molds you can get different scents check out the website and if you promo code black friday 10 you'll get 10 percent off your order oh. 
Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. All right, let's move on to Superman now. The Superman trailer is supposedly coming in mid-December. James Gunn said that he's seen it. It's pretty much done. He loves it. Frank Grillo said that he saw it. And he said he got emotional watching it. I got to be honest with you. I'm really looking forward to this trailer. This trailer, like the DCU, the start of the DCU is Creature Commandos, but it is Superman, right? Superman's the first live action you're going to have, and it's in the theater. It's going to have a bigger audience. It's going to be looked at a lot with more of a critical eye, too, I think, especially after the last couple Superman that we had. I love Man of Steel, but, I mean, you know, people have their opinions of it, and it is what it is, and box office speaks for itself, right? When the box office of these characters start to decline, you have to look at it and say, okay, something's not working here. What are we going to do? And this is the plan, and this is the kickoff of the DCU official. I mean, Creature Commandos, again, is, but Superman really is, right? Superman's the one that people are going to look at and be like, what is this all about now and this trailer is going to be our first entry point into that right we're going to see what are we in for with the dc what's the tone of superman how is superman going to be what about all these other characters in superman i'm working on a video is there too many characters in i don't think there is but is there too many characters in superman what's going on how, how do they all fit in and of course what is the plot what are we going to get i don't know if this trailer is going to go into detail because it is six seven months away from the release in july so it might just be a short little tease but it's going to whet our appetite it's going to get us to a point to say hey i really believe and James Gunn's DCU. That's what it has to do. I don't know if it's going to get butts in the seats because people are going to be skeptical still, but I think the trailer has to be good enough that it has to make you say, okay, I'm listening. And now again, when it comes to the movie being in the theater, I don't know if it's going to make that much money. It'll probably make like 600 million or maybe five to 600 million. Maybe eight if it's pushing it. It's not going to cross a billion. Superman's got too much baggage going into it. The DC name has too much baggage going into it. And I know that I know what a DC Studios is. The new DCU is. You know what it is. But a lot of people outside of it won't know what it is. And they'll just be like, another Superman? Is this what we're doing? So it's, this movie has to be good. It has to have really good word of mouth. And even if that doesn't translate to ticket sales, it'll translate to streaming numbers and maybe DVD sales. Do they still do that? I don't think they do but it'll translate to that and basically it's not the superman movie that matters it's supergirl world of tomorrow it's the lantern series lantern series it's batman brave and the bold it's swamp thing it's sergeant rock it's all these things that's what it matters the most right it's like hey i really like this one this is the direction you're going in i have faith that i'm going to go see the next one and that's what they need to do. And they need to rebuild and regain that trust with the fan base. And this trailer is the first step in doing that. If this trailer works and succeeds the way that they need it to do, then that's enough. Even if it doesn't make you want to go see it in the theater. But it might make you say, okay, I'll check that out when it's on when it's on Max later. And that's really what they need right now. They need the DCU to be in a good spot, a good place. And this trailer is the first step in that and i'm really excited to see what they're going to give us because i think i honestly think that the superman trailer the james gunn superman trailer will be top five trailers of all time could i be wrong hundred percent i could be wrong but it has to be really i don't even know how you would quantify top five trailer of all time but it has to be really good and i have faith that it will be really good we're going to find out soon very soon in fact it could be as soon as december 15th of this year. Why December 15th? Because December 15th, 1978 was the day that Richard Donner Superman was released in the theater. And what better day to have it than the day of the movie that started it all? December 15th. A great homage, great respect given to the movie that birthed it all. Richard Donner's Superman, Christopher Reeve's Superman. What an honor that would be on December 15th. They're saying mid-December, so it seems plausible to me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't checked out Holy Christmas Batman from my friend Brian Royer, link in the description below. It is a jolly good time. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Give us a like and subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.